Hello and welcome everyone to this video on ABAP Workflow Basics by Zaran Tech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zaran Tech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to understand the concept of workflow in SAP. So suppose we have some business requirement which need to be automated. For example, we send a mail for leave approval to our reporting manager. And it is possible that manager might not see it on time and it had that scenario. It would be great if we automate the process so that the leave gets approved if the RM did not see it on time. You might be seeing these things in your offices that if you are applying for leave then uh, after a certain period of time it would be getting auto approved if manager did not see it. So workflows are mainly used for automating the processes. Simple, we can see the chart of this workflow, how basically the workflow occurs. Simply we start the process, then the request is generated. After that, if manager approve a reject, so we mainly send it to manager for approval a rejection, then there it will be decision making process. After that, it notify the requester that what is the decision of his manager or approver, then after either he can resubmit or reverse the request or end the process this are this is the mainly the flow of our workflow and uh, if we discuss about workflow properties simply it is used for automating of business processes and we can also see its current status using a transaction code which i will tell you later and some important trans transaction codes that we need to understand first is SWDD which is used for workflow builder then we have SBWP where we see the SAP inbox and we can also see if some workflow is initiated and a request has come to our user and also we have some tables like SWD head and this function module which are mainly responsible for workflow so I'm going to create a workflow so that you can understand it more clearly as I told you a few minutes ago that the transaction code for workflow is SWDD. So I will go to SWDD. Okay. You can see workflow initiator screen, screen will be opened in change mode. And already there is a workflow. So I'll click on create button. So that new workflow can be created. Now. See. This is my workflow where it is will be started and then the workflow will be completed. In between you can add as many steps as you want. So what I want, I want to send a mail to a user so that my leave could be approved. I want to create an automatic mail. I want to send a mail to my manager so that he can leave so that he can approve my leave request. So I'll simply right click on it and click on create button. Then what I will do, I will click on send mail. And before send mail, listen, I want to send a mail to my manager. So I will have to create a user decision. So I will double click on it. And in the user decision, what I will do, I will write a title, approve, yeah, reject or reject, leave. And in the decision, I will give approve for approval. And reject for rejection. And I will output, I'll, I will type output name as reject only. Reins, Z. And I'll click on OK button. So we can see. I have created a user decision for approve or reject. Now for approve, I will click right click on it and click on create button. And for approval, I will send a mail. And where I want to send a mail, I want to send a mail to a user who can be my manager or it can be anything. So at this moment, for demo purpose, I will be sending this mail to myself so that it can be more clear to you. I will simply write my username here. This is and I will press enter. Okay. And in subject, I will write approval, approve mail. 
I so please approve my mail. I'll click on OK button. And some abbreviation we need to pass. So I'm giving ZR workflow. And in the name I will give it as workflow and I'll press enter. I will assign the package and transport request. So for approval, the mail will be sent to the my user and for rejection, I want again to for rejection, I want the same user to be okay. Let me go to back button. I'll click on cancel button. So for okay. For the user decision, I will send this user to my username, which is S419 AS02. Perfect. So when I will initiate this workflow, this will be sent for the user decision to this particular user. Now in that place, you can type your manager's user ID so that this user decision will be sent to him and if he will approve this mail then you will get response on this user you can type your name here your user ID or your mail whatever you want you can type your mail also if you want so that's not a big problem I'll click on OK button then I'll for reject I'll click on create then send mail in expression I will leave you to workflow initiator suppose workflow initiator means the one who will execute this workflow you will get the, if the this particular mail will be rejected so leave rejected uh, I your leave has been rejected leave has been rejected okay I'll click on ok button again abbreviation and name and in mail, I'll right click like this. More uh, leave approved. Now this will be more. I click on OK button, and I will activate this workflow. Now I will click on execute. So if I will go to SW SBWP transaction code there you can see in the inbox uh, there is no mail for workflow okay no issue I will simply click on execute button here it will be sent to my user as I have given my name then suppose I am clicking on approve button now I will again go to SBWP Plus O S B W P and in the inbox I will check for the mail. Okay, no mail has been come here. Oh two two. Oh, the workflow log. Yes, it is working completely fine. So mainly this is how you will create your workflow. And you can create your workflow through SWDD transaction code and you can check its status via SBWP. In workflow, you need to, you can add as many steps as you want. I will simply go here, click on back button, and here you can make user decision and also create how many steps which you prefer. So, thank you very much.